So I'm working on a new ClearPass install, but I want to talk a little bit about getting your DNS records and your certificates uh, straightened away at the beginning of your ClearPass install because if your if your certificates if you don't have the proper you know third party certificates on this box you're gonna get you're gonna have a lot of headaches so you know a lot of clients um, are gonna get the warnings they're not gonna be able to continue on so one of the first things I recommend is you know make sure that your clear pass and um, you know if you're using a Ruba instant make sure everything is uh, in your DNS and everything has valid certificates um, so this is kinda like pre work for your clear pass install so the scenarios that I run into a few times are my clients will um, either have a dot local domain or you know they might have a different domain name on the inside than uh, the domain name that they have for their website or that they have registered externally so um, a good example is they might be hosting a website externally and email externally so um, the domain name is really kind of outside hosted on someone else's servers and their inside domain name is different right but we want to get them a valid cert so in this example um, I'll say that I own airstreamnetworks.com and I want to get a valid cert on my ClearPass box but if I go and I look at my um, my domain controller here I have a dot lo or a local dot net domain right so I can't go out and register certificates to local dot net so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it that my local DNS server will be able to resolve names like cp1.airstreamnetworks.com so then um, when I put a cert on there we'll be able to look it up and point it towards the ClearPass box and um, you know then everything will validate fine so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on my server my server name happens to be uh, Carvel here and I'm gonna right mouse click and I'm gonna do new zone so I'm gonna make it a primary zone I'm not gonna store it in Active Directory gonna click next it's gonna be a forward lookup zone and I want to look up airstreamnetworks.com because that's what I'll be able to get a cert for because um, you know when they go to validate my domain they'll be able to email me back at this domain so I'll click next and next and finish so now the next thing I want to do is I want to create a reverse lookup zone so you can see here that um, my uh, ClearPass appliance is on 192.168.146 network. And all I have right now is the 192.168.8 network in here. So I need to create a reverse lookup zone for it. So I'm going to do new zone. I'm going to click next. Oh, I'm going to uncheck this. Next, reverse zone. And I'm going to type in here 192.168.146. Then I'll click next and I'm finished with that. So now I'm going to make a new A record. So I'm going to right mouse click on um, this new zone I just created, Airstream Network. So I'm going to go to new host and my name is CP1 that I want for my ClearPass appliance. So it's cp1.airstreamnetworks.com. And I'm just going to type in my IP address. And I could click on the add pointer, but I'm going to go through and um, actually just add the pointer manually in here. So I'm going to click add. So that's fine. It added it. I'm going to click done. Now I'm going to go to my zone here and I'm going to right mouse click and do new pointer. I'm going to type 14. That's my full IP address. And then I'm going to browse on my server and I'm gonna find my server here for my A record and click OK. So there we go that's all I needed to do to set my DNS up to be able to resolve the name of um, this domain airstreamnetworks.com. Now one caution is if you do have this 
uh, like if you have, um, you know, like a web server, host it externally. And if you have mail, host it for this Airstream Networks.com. Your users now aren't going to be able to get to those networks on the outside if you don't add those entries in. So if you know the, IP, the external IP address um, of the uh, website, you might, you'll click on here and add a new host record for it. Okay, so same with if you have MX records or anything, you can add them in here because now um, your clients are pointing towards this network for your domain. So that's the first step that I wanted to straighten out. Um, next, I'm going to go and I'm going to go uh, purchase some certificates and get them put on my ClearPass um, appliance.